And yeah, all right, Insta popped. Guys, welcome to the first lobby. Uh, as I just said, we are doing like chicken related stuff only. So the only things you're allowed to use are hatching chick, chick from a rooster, the rooster itself, and chicken. You are allowed duplicates, so you can have as many of anything that you want. Uh, but yeah, all food is allowed, sloths are allowed, buy, sell, pill, whatever else you want during your turns, as long as, you know, it's only chicken related things when you end your turn. And uh, yeah, happy, happy stuff. Good luck. There is also egg, but there is. That's just there for like the visuals, you know? It's not actually required for anything. All right. And let's be, oh, dude, I have perfect name, perfect phantoms. Even have alliteration, it's the dream run. Once there are 64 people in the lobby, it just insta pops, and yeah, it filled up very quickly. But yeah, like I said, it is just hatching chick, chick from rooster, rooster, and chicken. Those are the four things. I have pinned a message in chat. The only eggs allowed. I thought about making something like that to start. I was like, oh yeah, you're only allowed these things, and they have to have eggs, but I felt like that would be too much. Stoked. Might as well. Wowie. Wow, I'm back to three gold. Amazing. There are cheaters. Yeah, I'm hoping not. Again, these aren't um, these aren't things. Guys, <laughs> oh god, there's like so many. Uh, I tried to explain it. They're in chat again. The names of the things you're allowed to use are hatching chick, rooster, and chicken. So you can't use anything early. Have to wait until you get there. Right. I need to change the the title too. You lobby, hold on. You lobby time. That's gonna have to do for now. I'll like change it again later. So what I'm going to look for now are guinea pigs, I think, because if I find a load of guinea pigs, I'm more likely to find a hatching chick from a level up. That or I pill a spider actually, and I think that's probably better odds for me. So let's <laughs> try and find a pill and spiders. You are not a spider, you're just kind of dark looking. Ah, no spider. One spider, but I can't buy it anymore. Second spider, okay. Well, that's my next turn sorted. Three spiders. I'm freezing it. I don't think the smart thing to do would be to combine all three and then pill it. Like, it'd be pretty cool if it turned into a level three hatching... Sorry, level two hatching chick, but... I think I should probably do these individually and just, you know, get two attempts at trying to find a single hatching chick. Might be slightly better. Can you pill with honey for bee? I, I guess, but you'd have to sell the bee again. <laughs> I wonder how good A, B, C, D, E thing would be with pack one. I don't know. I managed to fill up the custom pack quite a lot, but I don't know how many things are in the first one. I feel like E would be very empty, and that might be a problem. Hold on. Oh, I can't use either of these. Wah. I can't even buy this other spider. No. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so let's leave this. We roll for a slot. And then next turn, we can try and find some of these. Or maybe combine for a rooster. Who knows? That was by the gamble. Yeah, I couldn't go for it. Dude, there are some hatching chicks. Oh, and everyone corrected the ducklings, so that's nice. Yeah, you, you didn't have to leave, you just had to correct it, so you got that for the future. Elephant? Elephant isn't a, a chick thing. Okay. There we go. Means for A, B, C, D, E. Uh, I, I think I lost it, I'm not really sure. Oh, elephant. I see. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Am I doing more view the ways? Yes, this is the first one. We've just started. Uh, but yeah, I need to find one of these hatching checks. Otherwise, I'm not going to be loving life, I feel. I could buy some mouse. It like may be worth it, but I really need to find one. There we go. And yeah, in case anyone's buffed any of these, I'm going to give that a meat bone instead of rolling three more times. He doesn't get to buff anything, but he is here, so... <laughs> <gasps> Wait, I just had an idea. Hold on. Hold on. Let's, like, turn this off random and get the bird nest hat. Oh, much better. Could maybe change the background as well, but I think I'm fine. <laughs> Anyone have any good ideas for a pack one challenge? I mean, there's a lot of the basic stuff, like, you know, only stuff from specific tiers, any one specific pets. We could maybe just do something like only pets that start with A or something, or anything that starts with anything through A to E. I don't want to pill a blobfish, but I don't think that's it either. I need to find as many of these as I can early, although this is very tempting. And then I could probably just buy a salad bowl and feel pretty good too. 
So, sure. Let's do that. Going to let that one buff this, because right now, this thing is already going to trade very well. Like, I'd rather have a, you know, 5-5 five five with Meat Bone and a 7-7 seven seven compared to whatever it would have been otherwise. Like, a 2-2 two two and a 9-9 nine nine with a Meat Bone. Just have to hope I don't go against other people with the same stuff. End of turn. The issue is, those things are all, like, scalers. We've only done that once, I think, but it turned into a, a massive draw fest. Because there isn't as much, like... I don't know, variety in the food available in the pack one? Triple chicks. Stay away from me. Someone's using an egg. Big respect. Imagine being like the hatching chick with an egg hat with an egg equipment. It would be perfect. Farm background's a good idea. You know what? Fair enough. Yeah, let's do that. I'll change that soon. Let's go variety food. Uh, I mean, potentially. Hold on, I'm going to do my turn first. I could buy this, but I'd rather look for more dudes. I will buy sell a mole. Guess I'm just going to buff these two again. Sell you. I'm not going to freeze that. Just just roll. And I don't care about any of these. Yeah, keep rolling. And these are all amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, send it like that then. There you go. There's my team. I have 30 seconds to change my background. Background, randomize. Farm. Oh, it's perfect, yeah. Thank you. And yes, any food is allowed, so you can have a banana if you want. Scalers only, but once you hit 50 attacker HP, you have to sell that pet. Oh, that would be rough. Like, <laughs> it's like scalers only, but once they're too big, you have to, you know, destroy them again. I wonder if there's any way to just, like, keep them from doing that too easily. Angelic is so bad. Thankfully, I'm running a pretty solid team at the moment. I do lose, though. <laughs> oh, no. I say as I get hit. Alright, so... I think it is worth me buying one of these bananas, so I may do this. And then I guess I just buy two hatching chicks. It's probably the best thing I can do this turn. Right? I'm, I'm at least buying one. But I don't know, I could buy a second one and then I get to a nice other large summon. That might be slightly better. So let's do that, maybe. Do not combine yet. Uh, you know what? Run it this way. Yeah, yeah, run it this way. And then I keep these frozen. I can freeze the snail if I need it. Alright. Cell pets only. How many cell pets are there in the first pack? Because I wouldn't mind doing that at some point. But I feel like that would be limited to like... Three things or something in uh, turtle pack. Does clownfish count? No. No, no, no. It is only chicken related things. That is chick you get from pilling a rooster. The rooster itself. Hatching chick and chicken. It is those four. And I'd love to see how far someone can get with, like, chicken scaling in this. Because I know someone's going to do it. And I'd love for it to be me, but I'm also kind of scared of trying. Have I done no roll? Not in these lobbies, because there's no way to enforce it. Uh, anyway, let's see. So I'm probably going to level this one up first, because it's already very large. I kind of want to just stack that, but I also think I should end on it instead, so... Let's see, this would cost me like 5 gold, I can do that as well. So I wouldn't be able to buy the pair and then do this stuff, so I'm just going to level this now. And yeah, I can't do anything with that. Buy this, and then we roll. I will keep that frozen for now. I could pill an eagle and it may turn into a chicken. I don't think it's worth trying for, and this stuff is all amazing. And yeah, scale this one up permanently, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it didn't get quite as big as this one, because you know, it's a 4-4 four, four buff compared to a 2-2 two, two permanent one. But over time, that's going to be worth it. And if I ever level it up, then I can, you know, shuffle it further back and actually get the second chick spawned. Snakes only, the ultimate Kino game. We actually did do that kind of recently. And I believe I did pretty well in it, too. It'll be going on the VOD channel, like, kind of soon. I was, I've been working through those recently. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to have to like, combine this again. Combine that, let's buy sell this. Uh, look, I'm probably keeping two roosters, right? Or am I gonna be in, maybe I combine them eventually. I don't know what my play with these are. Like, I mean, at least keeping one chicken, or chick, sorry, and at least one rooster. But maybe I go for like double rooster, one hatching chick and a chicken. And then I buy sell. I don't know, I think it uh, makes more sense to do this. The chocolate stays frozen though. Like, <laughs> I refuse to get rid of that. Okay. Stoats. It may be a chicken. It might turn into a chicken. I'll risk it. 
Dragons only would be wild. Again, the issue with that is that like it would just get to 50-50 way too soon. It'd be interesting, but yeah, you just hit like uh, the stat cap and then you only have limited equipment, so. You'll have to go soon, but I'll be able to set up a lobby for next game if it's pack one. Might as well just get one simultaneous lobby to see how people find it. Alright, I don't know how long this is going to go on for. So let me know if you need to leave before we can get that going, but appreciate it, Robo. Robo dogs only, the raining and sap. Uh huh. Alright. Uh, I'm going to throw this on here because I need to get rid of it so I can combine there and see what it turns into. Another walrus. I mean, I'd like to build them. I don't really have any other equipment. Do oh god, wait. Do I even keep these frozen? Maybe I keep one frozen and I see if I can find another one. But if I combine there and don't find another thing, then yeah. Let's risk it. Let's risk it. I'm going to combine straight away. It's not chicken. Can't use any of these and I don't really care about that yet. And yeah, still can't use any of those. That is a shame. That is a mighty shame. <laughs> Alright. Okay, well I'm running a three squad, not the best. But I do have a very, very tanky front line there. Can definitely get a nice trade. Oh. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Not unexpected. And there's the chicken. Nice. Okay, so buy sell this first. Sell duck. I want some stats on the duck, so I may buy this before I um do this guy. Then let's see. Do I buy and pill walrus and then buy sell ants? No, I think I buy pill this and then I buy pizza and I freeze ants. And they immediately replaced my only good equipment. Okay. Uh keep scaling this hatching chick. I don't actually need to scale this chicken. I'd rather these things be my big guys, because they're already my big guys. This might be too broad, but sea creatures only. Yeah, the issue we have with that is that it's very difficult to decide what is and isn't a sea creature. And do you play more community rounds? If you mean viewer lobbies like this, then yeah. It may be a bit difficult to get into, though, because the lobbies pop very, very fast. Level 3 hatching check for chicken level up. I don't have a way to do it. Like, I can combine these two, but then I'm effectively running a two squad. And I don't think I can do that without dying. Second chicken. Can I also just, like, buy pill a mammoth? I think that's probably worth doing. Buy pill mammoth. Buy cell ant. Buy second chicken. And then... <laughs> I was going to freeze this. I may start leaving the food, though. I'm not sure. Although, I need to throw something at the front now, because now I'm running a full squad. Uh, I, I need to find chocolate. I can at least get this, If I can get this to level 2, then I can start by selling and feeling great about it. When it's level 1, I don't think it's really worth it, and I don't really want to combine there just to make room. I feel like it'd be too big of a problem. I wish you could play this theme too. These are my favorite animals. I want to see if anyone's running any chicks. I feel like no one would be doing it, but... Maybe if we do this again in the future, I should have it so it's like no duplicates. So then you're like kind of forced to fill a rooster at some point if you want to near full squad. Okay, still going. I do wish I was on more HP and then I could like rely on my uh, chicken stuff a little bit harder. Sure, like I'll buy one of these. More pigs. Oh, I can pill a blobfish actually. I could also buy pill a tapir, but I don't trust that as much. So yeah, we'll do this. Then I have a level 2 chicken. And then I can even buy sell both pigs. Amazing. Okay. Leave the pair. We roll. Need to find as many tier ones as I can. Another chicken to end on next turn. Amazing. Uh, run to the back again. Yeah, you can stay back there. Just keep scaling these two. Did I do reptiles only? Not recently. We've done it a long time ago. I should probably make another pack for that, actually. I remember there were days when it used to take 15 to 20 seconds to fill these lobbies. I mean, it still takes a while on Twitch. We usually hit a cap of around like 50 people there. So like everyone that wants to get in can get in. Here though, there are so many people trying to get in that it like... Yeah, it's pretty much an instant thing. Alright, continue by selling. And then end on large chicken. I'm probably just going to combine that into there, so I might as well like do this. And again, this isn't at the front, so it still works. You're on lethal and didn't even get to face Kino. 
I mean, how many fights have there been? I've been in like 15 fights so far, and there's, you know, 64 people in here, so... It's not that unlikely that you never got to fight me. Oh my god, it's a full rooster squad here. <gasps> Someone did do one! Snow Soul! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Is there anyone else that went for a chick and it got them killed? No, that may be the only chick. Big respect. Do you have some tips to get better at the game? Not really if I don't know what's like, what you're struggling with, you know? 364 views. That's a pretty pog number. Missed one. Did I roll a tier one? Anyway, combined there. I, I want to pill this mammoth. I'm pilling the mammoth. Yeah, okay, we do that. I'm going to buy, uh, buy sell this to see if it turns into another chicken. Or if it turns into like an oyster, then I can maybe use that or something else. We'll see. Wars? Show me a pill. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, the zebra I'm still like thinking about. I assume I should, but it's only really good if it hits one of these two. And you know what? If I don't die, I'm happy to try and get that thing to level three. So keep going. 27, 27 peanut hatching chick is brutal. Yeah, I mean, look at these things. They are huge. As long as they don't die in one shot, then they can do some pretty heavy damage. And they're both like above 20-20, so like they can kill through melon armor now. So like, these things will get one shot. Come on, Kino, die quicker. I don't want to. And that was very bad. Oh. Oh, hold on. This might be... Oh. Hmm. Things I can't end on any of these things either. So even if I like level this up right now and then buy one of these, I don't really get any benefits. But I don't get that much of a benefit with the Zebra either, so let's let's just go all in. And it's not even another <laughs> thing I can do. All right. Oh my god, like, look at all these things. I would love to build another Warus, but... Yeah, we need to scale now. Or at least try to. Do this, maybe? Start scaling that up? Thing is, I'd rather not, because I want these to be as big as possible. And, like, I may eventually combine there so I can buy another rooster, but... Ah, yeah, just, just keep it going how it is. And bugs only. Again, it's difficult to tell what is and isn't a bug. There isn't a clear line. Like, we could try creepy crawlies only, and then we include stuff like spiders and worms and snails and stuff. And I think I may be dead. Those are some very big roosters. Yeah, okay. Sweaty, you got me. Uh, still, good game. I, I quite like this one. I think I'll be returning to this sometime. Like the stream and subscribe, everyone. Yeah, everyone follow what Robo's saying. <laughs> Sorry, it's all good. It's all good. I still had a good run. I, I managed to get my level 3 chicken. I just didn't get to scale too much after it. What about predators only? I don't know what is and isn't a predator, though. And have I done Mantis in the middle? I invented Mantis in the middle. Yes, we've done Mantis in the middle. And we did it, like, last stream. I'd like to make a custom pack for it, though, because we always have to do it in star pack. Alright, so this is code one. So for anyone that doesn't get into this lobby, we will try and do another one. Okay. <laughs> hey, everyone. Welcome. It is game number two. Uh, we're doing snipers only and the turtle pack, so basically you can only use things that have a rock animation. If they can throw a rock at something, then it's allowed. So that is elephant, mosquito, leopard, dolphin, all of these sorts of things. So only use those when you end your turn. Any food is allowed. You can buy a sloth and do whatever else you want during your turns. So uh, yeah, I wish everyone luck. I believe mosquito is the only sniper at tier 1, so I'm going to be hard rolling for that. And I found one. Nice. Do you know what? Let's make it large. Okay, and we'll be the subtle... Oh, robots. The robots. The insolent robots. <laughs> Alright, so the code for the second uh, lobby, if you want to get into that, that is SNIP2. S-N-I-P-2. I don't believe the, you know, uppercase matters. I may change my hat and background again, actually. Now that we're in a new lobby. No! <laughs> okay, fair enough. Just don't send me against a similar team next time, please. Uh, oh, I almost want to combine, but yeah, I'm just gonna have to do it this way. Excellent hits. One more roll. Didn't find another one. Alright, I trust. I trust this won't lose again. If it does, I'm going to be angry. Alright, second lobby full. Good luck, everyone. Oh my god. 
Okay, I didn't realize there were that many people hoping to get in. I wonder if they'll ever, like, up the cap on how many people you can get in one lobby. That'd be pretty cool if you could have, like, hundreds of people. Uh, actually, I need to change the title, right? Snipers only. No, I'm gonna lose again! Why am I losing? <laughs> I lost permanent HP. Is Badger okay? Yeah, it doesn't have to be start of combat or anything. It just has to be able to throw rocks. So Badger is fine. Again, if you hover over it and it has a rock icon, that is allowed. So yeah, there's like Blowfish as well. Uh, you're not actually allowed to use stuff like Parrot and Tiger, by the way, before we get there. But yeah, stuff like Snake, Leopard, it's all good. What can you use from tier two? There's Hedgehog. Hedgehog and Elephant. So those are the only two uh, snipers from tier two. I could maybe take a Flamingo and try and pill that, but I think it's better to try and find some stuff to use first. And I would rather have Honey and a Hedgehog, so let's see if I can find any of that. I guess I take another one of these. I'm... I'm afraid. I'm not finding anything. I have my three Mosquitoes and they have not been doing well so far. Do I always stream on YouTube? I've been streaming on YouTube every Wednesday, but I stream two other times during the week at Twitch. I don't know if I've seen this background before. I thought I had looked through them, but... Oh wow, there's like a cornfield one. And yeah, I did lose more HP. Uh, buy it, buy it, and try not to die. Oh my god, I'm, I'm actually going to die, hold on. I'm gonna do this. The thing is, these are probably going to die to snipes. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Bye Kino, let me know how this simultaneous lobbies go. The thing is, I won't know how the other one goes. But Robot Dog, thank you for the two pounds. And I hope you have a good evening. Thank you for the help so far. Uh, 20 seconds, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna change... change things. I don't know if there's like a sniper hat. I don't know, custodian helmets? Is that like snipery? Gaucho? I was definitely saying that wrong. Oh, you look like a sniper. Alright, we can have that, and then... Hmm... Let's just go to the cave. It's not particularly snipery, but... Wait, maybe I'll update after this. And hey, I did win. I'll take it. Does skunk count? No, because it doesn't throw a rock. It like throws a, a bone, I think. Where is it? It doesn't even have the icon, though. Yeah. If there's no rock icon when you hover over it, then it's not allowed. Oh my god, there's like screaming seagulls outside. Hope you still know how to play this game. I hope so, too. Uh, anyway, I could buy the elephants. I'm kind of tempted. Like, I need dolphin or blowfish from this tier. Or badger. Actually, there's, yeah, there's a few things I could use. And I found two of them. Nice. And I'm just going to throw that there, I think. Do this, maybe. Blowfish is fine. I don't know about buying salad balls. You know what? Just throw that to the front. I think this is okay. Because this only does two damage. I'd love to get garlic on here or something, because it's very large, but I don't really want to keep a mosquito for the whole game. Because, you know, a mosquito is just, like, a terrible leopard, really. Also, I just, like, my chat has disappeared. Hold on, where did that go? There it is. I know lives at the coast confirmed. I actually don't, which is why it's kind of weird that there's tons of seagulls here. I'm, like, a couple of hours away from the coast. I think. It's been a long time. Do savannah and animals only. Elephants, kangaroo, camel, ox, giraffe. Yeah, I don't know. The issue with that is, it's not just, like, obvious to anyone in the game. <laughs> and Adam, congratulations. Good job, good job. Do I just have to combine now? I feel like I have to combine, otherwise I'm going to die. Uh... I'm going to do this. I'm going to leave that behind. Can't use a parrot. Like, it does copy the other things. I didn't find garlic, so I'm just going to do this, I think. I could do that, but I don't really benefit from it, so... Put on here instead. Yeah. And send it. Can we do a no food round? If you mean no equipment, maybe. Maybe, but we can't stop people from buying stat food, unless I make a specific pack without any, uh... <laughs> without any stuff in it. Can't remember the word. You know, without any scaling, yeah. Elephant and hurt abilities only. I don't know, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Alright, buying this. There actually aren't many snipers here. I don't even think that counts as a sniper. 
Yeah, it's like nothing. Okay, so this is like a dead round. A dead tier to find uh, new ones. Maybe I just combo again. I don't think I do it this turn, because, you know, then I won't be able to buy it without selling something else, but I think going for a combination makes sense. Don't care about any of these. Uh, I may need the snail, so I'm going to freeze that. But yeah, I'm only going to take one damage from the badger dying now, so that's kind of nice. Could even pair it, and then, you know, it would still take one damage, but I don't think I invest in the badger. I don't think that's going to work out for me, at least on, like, 2 HP with a team like this. We've lost every single round so far. I feel like I've lost a lot more than I deserve, but at least I haven't lost every round. Oh my god, yeah, these trades are awful. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to die after this. <laughs> Alright, let's combine. Maybe I'll get lucky and find a crocodile. Like, I'd love a leopard, but I don't have a way to scale it, and I'd probably explode anyway, so. I'm going to keep the... No, I'm not. I'm going to keep the honey, actually. Keep the honey. Can't use a seal. I'll buy sell this, and I'm going to keep the pair frozen, but I need to find another sniper before I die. <laughs> hedgehog. I mean, maybe. I can just, like, put this on here and buy the hedgehog. I could also combine again, but I don't think that's the idea. Alright. So let's do that then. Now, if I go against another hedgehog team, then I just have to rely that my, you know, honey can keep me alive, but... Yeah, two hedgehogs going off is probably going to, like, destroy my entire squad, barring my mosquito. The large one. Robodoc holding us hostage in the other lobby with 15 lives and very long round timers. Are you serious? Oh no, okay. That's not great. <laughs> very sorry about that. I'm not dead. I'm not dead, I gotta win. I'm sorry, you are now also on 1 HP. Alright, Rhino, that is a sniper. I don't think it would help me though. Because I feel like everything on my team is probably going to die before that can, you know pop off so i need to find a crocodile is crocodile or bust is crocodile or bust like we roll come on double crocodile okay uh instead of combining my mosquitoes i just have to sell two things anyway hmm. i don't know i don't care about the badger so i can do that definitely and i feel like the dolphin's doing too much work but at the same time i feel like i need the summon from this so maybe i get rid of that and you know what? You can go to the back. Actually, no. You tank one of the hits, and you can tank the rest. Let's do it that way. And then I can try and chocolate one of my crocodiles next turn. And I can try and see if this works. This is the first time I've ever felt sick from screen shake. Oh, and sap? I actually haven't been noticing screen shake. Unless you mean, like, when stuff, like, flies off the screen. Yeah, not doing pair. Parrot's not allowed. Another one of these. Excellent. I could stack it. I guess I do. Hmm. Uh, yeah, just, just stack it. Alright. Tiger can't use. Doesn't throw rocks itself. Do not want more mosquitoes. But this is pretty solid. Having three crocodile triggers already is like... That could be a lot worse. And let's have one final look through the teams before I explode. Damn, there's actually people running elephant blowfish. I wonder how well that's like working for them. I guess if you do have, like, a very healthy blowfish, then it can return fire for a lot of this stuff and maybe do a lot of work. Wondering if that'll get any snake value, though. Loving the hedgehogs. So I've got an early leopard here. Yeah, dude. Just want to say keep up the vids, and the streaming always makes my day. Thank you, gentlemen. Glad you've been enjoying it. And is Parrot it loud? No. No, like... I would want to allow it, but there's some weird stuff where it's like, oh, if you allow Parrot, then should you allow, like, Tiger or some other weird stuff where you can kind of copy abilities, like, I don't know, Wombat. And it just it just starts getting weird, so I think it's best to say, if it has a rock, you're allowed to use it. And Parrots by themselves aren't snipers, sadly. Uh, probably gonna leave the Dolphin. Like, I know I could level it up and it maybe do something, but... Yeah, I think I'm good without. I'm debating, like, selling the Dolphin, buying the Leopard, and then combining here to see if it turns into another Leopard. The odds of it happening aren't that high, but like Leopard or Snake, that's like a 2 and 9 or something. I can try it, and I have a lot of gold here. Dragon, can't use it. Uh, this is useful, so I'm just going to buy two of these, I think. No, keep rolling. I saw the Snake, but I don't really want a Snake. Okay. Okay, I'm probably just ready for death, honestly. <laughs> 
Not dead, not dead. Okay. Getting a little bit closer. You need Kino to die so I can have an excuse to leave Robo's lobby. Yeah, that's... <laughs> it's definitely not the best. Dude, I have cat cow, amazing. I'm definitely not gonna waste this though. So let's do this. Definitely need to get stats on there and then it can eventually overtake these ones. And I don't know, I guess I end on one of these. Maybe I'll put crocodile to the back as well. Like I imagine like people are going to be using crocodiles at this stage. So it's more likely to block a high damage hit if it's right to the back. Then I can maybe run that to the front again and leave them like this. Hopefully that'll make a difference. The timer in the lobby is long. Yeah, I don't think he did that intentionally. I imagine he was doing some, like, you know, some weird lobbies at one point and uh, had weird settings that he did not remember. So very sorry about everyone that's, like, in the super long lobby. I haven't got a single croc all game. Oh. Uh. Oh, not a loss. Never mind. I was ready for death. How can you get the code for the lobby? I'll post it in chat when it's ready. But the game is still going at the moment, so you can't join this one. Another one of those is great. Debating like buying the sushi and then the crocodile, but I may buy the crocodile and then just roll. I kinda wanna like combine that into there or something and then I can like turkey the other crocodile, but <laughs> I don't think that's the play. Oh god. I need to find like a, a mushroom or a honey again, I think. Like, buying pairs for this and stuff is fine, but... Oh, never mind. That's actually really good. Okay, so now these are doing 9 damage a shot. So they're actually better than the crocodile now. So that's very cool. Uh, maybe let like, you try and soak up the rest of the crocodile shots. I'll trust that won't kill it. Or maybe I put it there instead. Who knows? The timer is inexcusable, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I don't think it was intentional. Ooh. Dude, I'm actually, like, winning games again. Slowly getting there. Melon. I'm trying to decide if this is actually good or not. Because I feel like at the end of the game, if everyone has a ton of, like, crocodiles and these, then having melon is probably better. But right now, there's, like, a ton of people with mosquitoes and stuff and these, and, like, maybe it's just going to, like, block a two-damage snipe. But I, th I think it's worth trying. At least having, like, one more of these. Uh, I don't know. I could do that. I feel like these are going to die, though, and I'd rather not. Okay, I'll buy that. Buy that and then roll a few times. I'll freeze this. I'm gonna leave the other pair, because I'd much rather get this leveled up again. I think I'll leave that. And I'm gonna leave this as well. If I get this leveled up another time though, then I may go like super hard on like buying every pair I see and maybe freezing cats so I can buy sell cows and stuff. I think that's something we could do. <laughs> Why are you guys just saying reckoning to get the bot to trigger? Blowfish was not the play, I think. I think it could have been really good early. I think I'm getting lucky that I'm not just dead to some of these teams, though. Because I barely have any summons. Like, it could definitely be a lot worse. Can't buy that. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, I could combine there and then play the Leopard. It'd only do 5 damage, though, and I really want to buy the Pizza as well. Or I could just... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll just buy Pizza and stack the Leopard. Keep this frozen. I think that's probably the slightly better play. We'll do that. Good. It did not hit both crocodiles. I don't mind hitting this one, but like I don't want it to hit both of those, because they're almost definitely going to get combined soon. Still debating whether I should get rid of the mosquito, though, because like, I feel like it's very big, and it may... Because it's like one of my higher damage things, it may be able to like pop a load of shields, and then, you know, some of my higher damage stuff gets out. But, I don't know. This is my first triggering thing at the moment, so... Maybe it's bad. And, oh my god, what has happened to chat? I'm just, I'm just leaving that alone. All right, dude. Wait, can I actually make a comeback in this lobby? I thought I was going to die like ages ago. All right, uh, let's do that. I'm debating combining right now because if I find the leopard, then it's amazing. I'm gonna do it. It's not the leopard. Let's roll for something else. I know I could buy the mosquito or something. I immediately found the leopard. Buy. Oh god, is it better to play? It may be better to stack it this turn, actually. I'm going to do that first. It didn't turn into another Leopard, so that's a bit, bit sad, but... Yeah, getting another, like, 12 damage snipe out there this turn is pretty big. It doesn't mean I have one less thing to get hit, but... You know, I still think it's worth it. Level 3 Leopard, pretty nice. And now that I have the slot open, I can start, like... 
buy selling to get other stats. You know, maybe pill a pill a mammoth if I see it. So I can buy sell cows and cats, all of that. Oh damn! I thought they were actually gonna get a leopard, not leopard, <laughs> a rhino trigger there. It lived, but my um my front line did not take any damage somehow. None of these are snipers, except for the first one, which I immediately realized upon rolling. How many people are still running small spammy snipes? Not that many, to be fair. Like, people are running these. But I think it's worth taking another one of those. Okay. And send it again, I guess. <laughs> Eventually, I'm getting rid of this mosquito, but not before I find, like, another leopard or another crocodile. I feel like that's the only way forward, and I just don't trust the snake. It's going to die. Even if I give it to Mushroom, I just feel like it's going to die to, like, tiny snipes. You know, it'll, like, come back and it'll die to, like, Elephant Blowfish or something. Check me for that timer. We need to have plus one for that Robotog number. What? What? Okay, wait, I lose. I'm dead. That's bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I maybe could have done with some more summoning there, but none of my things were really that large. But in any case, I still think that was a pretty good run, so GG's everyone. GG's, GG's. Good luck to everyone still in this game, and even more luck to everyone that's in the other game.